Hello everybody. Today uh, we will uh, discuss the continuation of uh, distance displacement velocity and position time graph. In the last class we have studied what is distance, what is displacement, what is velocity, what is speed and we have plotted position time graphs for a body at rest and for a body moving with uniform velocity. And the important uh, uh, conclusions that we uh, drew yesterday is uh, one is distance means length of the actual path displacement means minimum distance between the uh, initial and final point so therefore distance is always greater than equal to displacement distance is always greater than or equal to displacement <laughs> for example a particle goes from point a okay and it goes to point b and it comes back to point a okay it goes from point a to point b come back to a okay now in this case say the distance between a and b is 1 meter in this case what is distance distance is equal to distance is equal to 1 meter plus 1 meter distance equal to 2 meter because distance means what length of the actual path traveled by the body in this case what is displacement displacement means minimum dist distance between initial and final points okay so this is the initial position of the particle the same is the final position of the particle okay so what happened displacement it comes back to point a means displacement is equal to zero okay uh, let us suppose that the the body goes from a to b then distance will be equal to displacement okay now so therefore distance can be equal to displacement otherwise distance is always greater than displacement then uh, we learnt uh, position time graph what is the important point that uh, we have studied from position time graph is if you calculate slope of the position time graph okay slope of the position slope means what we have studied y distance divided by x distance so this will be delta x this will be delta t okay if you find a slope slope m is equal to delta x by delta t it is like displacement divided by time it is velocity slope of position time graph gives velocity this is what we have studied and we studied about uh, speed and velocity we studied the definition of speed speed means distance by time velocity means displacement by time both of them will have unit equal to meter per second then we studied unit of acceleration what is acceleration rate of change of velocity is acceleration acceleration equal to velocity by time so its unit will be meter per second divided by second it is meter per second square now uh, we will solve one uh, problem okay i'll read out a body moves along a circular track of radius r circular track of radius r it starts from one end of a diameter and moves along the circular track and completes one and a half revolutions okay we'll write the situation here okay there is a circular track okay there is a circular track of radius r so radius of the circular track is r okay this is the radius okay a particle goes from okay one end to another end of a diameter okay and it completes one and a half revolutions okay one and a half revolutions means what i'll represent like this okay one revolution is over here then half revolution one and half okay means initially the particle started from this point this is the initial point and this is the final point now we'll, we'll see what is the question it completes one and half revolutions the ratio of distance traveled by the body to its displacement is four options are given ratio of distance by displacement okay what is distance okay now what is uh, uh, circumference of the circle okay for one revolution for one revolution okay distance traveled is equal to 2 pi r correct now for one revolution distance traveled is 2 pi r for half revolutions for half revolution distance traveled is half of that pi r correct now for one and half revolutions <coughs> what happens 2 pi r plus pi r how much it is 3 pi r so distance okay distance 
is equal to 3 pi r distance traveled by the body is 3 pi r now what is the displacement displacement is the minimum distance between initial and final point initially the particle is here finally after one and a half revolution the particle is here so what is this distance if the radius is r diameter or length of the diameter is how much 2r therefore displacement is 2r therefore displacement is 2r so what is their ratio what is their ratio okay ratio 3 pi r divided by 2r so when r and r gets cancelled so therefore the ratio of distance and displacement is equal to 3 pi by 2 okay hope you can understand yeah one and half revolution say for, for one revolution the distance is 2 pi r for half revolution distance is pi r so 2 pi r plus pi r is 3 pi r so 3 pi r is the distance traveled displacement means what displacement is the minimum distance between initial and final points that will be equal to 2 r so the ratio their ratio is to 3 pi r divided by 2 r r r gets cancelled so the ratio is 3 pi by 2 hope you can understand this okay we'll go to the next question i i suggest you to write these questions and solve on your own okay next uh, very simple uh, question there are two straight lines drawn on the same position time graph there are two straight lines a and b okay make angles 30 degree and 60 degree with the time axis okay one makes an angle 30 degree another line makes an angle 60 degree which line represents greater velocity okay what is the ratio of two what is the ratio of two velocities okay now while uh, studying position time graph okay we have also studied that see what is slope slope means delta x by delta t is velocity now see if this angle is theta this angle is also equal to theta then we have studied tan theta correct now tan theta means what opposite side opposite side divided by adjacent side what is opposite side delta x by delta t opposite side is delta x adjacent side by delta t therefore tan theta gives velocity tan theta gives velocity if tan theta is more then velocity is more so therefore in this problem definitely you can understand okay so tan th tan 60 is greater than tan 30 therefore object b will be moving with greater velocity see v a what is velocity of particle a velocity of particle a is equal to tan 30 degree because tan theta gives velocity correct now tan 30 degree what is velocity of particle b velocity of particle b is equal to tan tan 60 degree so therefore so which is uh, greater what is see v a divided by v b is equal to, what is tan 30 tan 30 is 1 divided by root 3 what is tan 60 tan 60 is root 3 1 divided by root 3 divided by root 3 or that root 3 can be written here okay so therefore it is 1 is to 3 so therefore v b tan 60 is how much tan 60 is root 3 right tan 30 is how much tan 30 is 1 by root 3 definitely we know that root 3 is greater than 1 by root 3 so velocity of b okay velocity of b is greater than velocity of a one part then what is the what is the ratio of the two velocities ratio is 1 by 3 hope you can understand okay when if x, x, x t graph is given okay tan theta will give you velocity or slope will give you velocity so based on this concept we have to solve this problem now now we have to uh, study velocity time graph okay velocity time graph velocity time graph or we simply call it as vt graph vt graph if you plot velocity of a body along y axis along y axis and time along x axis then you get something called velocity time graph now to understand what we'll do first we'll uh, draw velocity time graph for a body moving with uniform speed for a body moving with uniform speed okay now let us suppose that so there is a there is a uh, there is a bus okay there is a bus it is 
moving with a uniform speed okay it is moving with a uniform speed of 2 meter per second constant okay it is moving with a constant speed of 2 meter per second now how to plot the graph okay say this is t is equal to 0 t is equal to 1 second t is equal to 2 second t is equal to 3 second so here velocity is 1 meter per second 2 meter per second 3 meter per second 4 meter per second and so on initially the velocity at t is equal to 0 velocity is 2 meter per second okay see since the bus is moving with uniform speed even though the time increases speed of the bus remains constant when the time t is equal to 1 second t is equal to 1 second what is the speed 2 meter per second t is equal to 2 seconds what is the speed 2 meter per second you get a straight line in vt graph okay if you want to draw a graph for uniform velocity or uniform speed okay that curve should be parallel to time axis so this is the vt graph for an object moving with uniform velocity 2 meter per second now we will draw a vt graph for an object moving with uniform uniform positive acceleration uniform positive acceleration uniform positive acceleration okay first uh, we will understand what is positive acceleration correct now what is positive acceleration first we should see what is the definition of acceleration acceleration means what final velocity minus initial velocity divided by final time minus initial time so let us suppose that at t is equal to 0 okay there was a there was a bus okay there was a bus whose velocity is 0 meter per second now the bus starts and starts moving when t is equal to 1 second okay velocity of the velocity of the same bus is 2 meter per second at t is equal to 0 second velocity of the bus is 0 meter per second when the time becomes 1 second velocity of the bus becomes 2 meter per second now in this situation we will calculate acceleration acceleration means final velocity okay minus initial velocity divided by final time 1 second minus initial time 0 now what happened what is the answer 2 meter per second square acceleration is 2 meter per second square and it is plus okay means what if the velocity of the object is increasing then the acceleration is positive okay say initially bus is moving with velocity of 2 meter per second driver applies brake and the bus stops then what happens final velocity will be 0 initial velocity will be 2 then you get negative acceleration so we are drawing we are drawing vt graph for positive acceleration means velocity should be increasing okay velocity should be increasing let us uh, take an example so here say there is a bus which is moving forward okay when t is equal to 0 second velocity of the bus uh, let it be uh, 0 meter per second when t is equal to 1 second velocity of the bus let it be 1 meter per second when t is equal to 2 seconds velocity of the bus let it be 2 meter per second and so on okay now how to draw vt graph now we know that if the velocity is increasing then definitely it is a positive acceleration say this is velocity in uh, meter per second so here time in seconds okay so this is uh, 0 comma 0 0 seconds 1 second 2 second 3 seconds and so on this is 1 meter per second 2 meter per second 3 meters per second okay when the time is 0 seconds velocity is 0 meter per second okay this is the point when the time is 1 second velocity is 1 meter per second okay this is the point correct now when the time is 2 seconds velocity is 2 meter per second when the time is 2 seconds velocity is 2 meter per second this is the time okay so this is the graph for an object moving with uniform positive acceleration likewise we can draw many vt graphs okay so i'm just uh, trying to give introduction to the uh, subject now here one important thing if you observe okay here i'll i'll calculate slope in this graph i'll calculate slope now we know what is slope correct now what is slope slope equal to slope equal to y by x what is this what is this 2 minus 1 meter per second correct now 2 minus 1 meter per second because it is 2 meter per second minus 1 meter per second is 
टू माइनस वन मीटर पर सेकेंड ओके वॉट इज टू माइनस वन 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 मीटर पर सेकेंड वन मीटर पर सेकेंड डिवाइड वॉट इज दिस टू सेकेंड माइनस वन सेकेंड टू माइनस वन करेक्ट ना बिकॉज लेंथ ऑफ दिस आई टू सी नो टू माइनस वन टू माइनस वन वन सेकेंड ओके वन मीटर पर सेकेंड डिवाइड बाई वन सेकेंड वॉट यू विल गेट वन मीटर पर सेकेंड पर सेकेंड मीन्स यू विल गेट वन मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर वॉट इज दिस दिस इज एक्सिलेशन वेलासिटी ऑफ द बस इज इंक्रीजिंग एट द रेट ऑफ वन मीटर पर सेकेंड ओके हाउ द वेलासिटी इंक्रीजेस वेलासिटी इंक्रीजेस बाई ए फैक्टर ऑफ वन मीटर पर सेकेंड पर एवरी सेकेंड ओके सो दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एक्सेलरेशन मीन्स वॉट स्लोप ऑफ वेलासिटी टाइम ग्राफ गिवस एक्सेलरेशन स्लोप ऑफ वेलासिटी टाइम ग्राफ एक्सेलरेशन स्लोप ऑफ पोजिशन टाइम ग्राफ गिवस वेलासिटी स्लोप ऑफ पोजिशन टाइम ग्राफ गिवस वेलासिटी स्लोप ऑफ velocity time graph gives acceleration or tan theta okay tan theta of this at graph sorry vt graph gives acceleration okay now uh, we will do one uh, uh, simple uh, calculation or uh, okay one point what we have studied slope of vt graph gives acceleration now one more thing about vt graph is area ओके एरिया अंडर एरिया अंडर वीटी ग्राफ एरिया अंडर वीटी ग्राफ गिवस गिवस डिस्प्लेसमेंट और डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल एरिया अंडर वीटी ग्राफ गिवस डिस्प्लेसमेंट लेट अस प्रूव दिस ओके व्हाट आई विल डू वेरी सिंपल आई विल टेक ए आई विल कंसीडर अ वीटी ग्राफ सो हियर वेलोसिटी इज इन मीटर पर सेकंड ओके हियर टाइम इज इन सेकंड्स ओके लेट अस सपोज दैट आई हैव कंसीडर्ड एन ऑब्जेक्ट I have considered an object, okay, say a bus or something, which is moving with a uniform velocity of u meter per second, which moves with a uniform velocity of u meter per second for a time equal to t, for a time equal to t. Okay. Now, what is the area? What is this area? How to find the area? Okay. So this is near zero. Now, what is this length? This length will be equal to u. What is this length? This length will be t minus zero is equal to t. So how to find the area? Area is equal to length into breadth. Area is equal to length into breadth. Area, area is equal to length into breadth. Okay, u into t. So this is my equation number one. Hope you can understand. Yeah, particle is moving with a uniform velocity of u for a time equal to t. What is the area? Area of the rectangle u into t. But also we know that. we know that we know that displacement is equal to velocity into time correct na displacement is equal to velocity into time you remember hmm? what is what is the definition of uh, what is the definition of velocity velocity equal to displacement by time what is displacement then displacement equal to velocity velocity into time correct na so therefore in this case also displacement in this case what is the displacement of the bus displacement of the bus equal to velocity of the bus into time correct now now if you look at uh, these two equations right hand side of both the equations is same u into t u into t so therefore we can conclude that area area under vt graph area under vt curve gives displacement is equal to displacement this is one important uh, point which we will use in many problems and which we will use while deriving equations of motions v is equal to v, u plus at and all okay in the very next session okay tomorrow i will be deriving uh, kinematic equations using this concept itself okay three points you have to remember area slope of xt graph gives velocity slope of vt graph gives acceleration area under vt graph gives displacement hope you are understanding okay while uh, Uh, listening to the video please uh, take down the notes for uh, higher effectiveness thank you very much